Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard, Frank. What's oh, you like that? Mm, don't do that. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. What? Do what? What you were doing? Because I don't think the people saw what you were doing. I think if they, if it was edited properly, Josh. Okay. They would see. They, I was just like, uh, uh, fuck it, yeah. Your tongue gets so pointy when Am you. I, I, when I dance, I'm a tongue guy. Yeah. Hmm. What? I don't know. Yeah, I'm a tongue guy. When I dance, they fuck it. <laughs> you're gonna tell me you're not. Am I a tongue guy? No, I don't think everyone, so. Like, like everyone has a, everyone is a tongue guy for different reasons. Michael Jordan dunking basketballs. Right. Me dancing. Dancing. Me. You're gonna tell me you never find yourself just being a tongue guy, just being like. Ah. Why do I put my tongue out? You do sometimes. You you get a pointy tongue, dude. Yours gets really really pointy. Yeah, but I don't I don't know why I, I tongue. I sometimes I remember. Um, when I would play Guitar Hero, I'd be like, I do do that. You do it. Or when, when I used to stream on Twitch, I would w see clips and I'm like, I would see myself like this. <laughs> I'm like, I, that's what I look like? I look yeah, like an idiot. You do. You do look like an idiot. Uh, oh, well, don't agree. Often. Welcome back to the basement yard. Welcome back to the basement yard. Everyone, welcome back to our show that is comforting, warm, mm -hmm. really sweet. Yeah. Uh, what uh, else you got? Um... What are other like? That's uh, that's well. That's where we're gonna end it. Why? Then. Why? Why? What, no other adjectives for the you show. You lost steam. I didn't lose steam. You lost steam. I didn't lose steam. You ready? Comforting. Yeah. Warm. Mm -hmm. Juicy. Okay. Heartwarming. Yeah. Voluptuous. I don't think anyone's described the podcast. I, I think people have described our podcast as voluptuous. Okay. Uh, endearing. Mm -hmm. Laugh out loud, funny. Uh, we're done. <laughs> we're done. But speaking speaking of that, I don't know why. I said what, that. What, what are we speaking? Nothing about nothing. <laughs> um, but I had another like dream last night. Uh oh. Like I had because lately I've been having like very vivid dreams. Mm -hmm. Have you been like doing anything different before bedtime? No, I guess when I, I if I drink a lot of water beforehand or something, I don't know. Do you like how many times a night do you get up to pee? I don't. Oh, then I have the problem. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, I wake up. Well, sometimes I'll wake up. Like earlier than I usually wake up. Like I'll, sometimes I'll wake up at like five thirty or five o'clock because I have to shit. You but, have to. You wake up to have to change. Yeah, that's crazy to me. <laughs> sometimes. Well, no. Every morning, like when I was in a really good. If I have, if my diet is like what I want it to be, and I like I'm getting enough fiber and protein, I will shit every day at like uh, when I wake up. Really? I well, yeah. Up. When you wake up, you go to the bathroom. But like, yeah. I've never woken up. <gasps> From sleep because I'm like, uh oh, I gotta, oh, I gotta. Well, go. no, that's not that's not what I'm saying. It doesn't wake me up because I'm like, oh, 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 I gotta go. <laughs> I'm holding my ass. There are the people there. that poop the bed. Isn't that weird? They're called babies. No, there are, are people that like accidentally shit the bed. They're called old people. No, it's somewhere in between. Not as sad. Like there's something in between babies and old people that idiots. Like, there it is. Maybe. <laughs> so your dream. All right, let's hear this. It's you yeah. have been known to have these dreams that are. Off the fucking rails. <laughs> this one, and I promise you, this isn't a bit. I promise it isn't. A lot of people tend to think that what we do is bits. Like, I know. I, like, and, and they I, forget we've known each other for thirty years. Forget about that. Like, I haven't done one of these in a long time. But I had this dream, and I, dude, it was so real. Uh -huh. And I didn't realize in the dream how stra like what was going on was so strange. So you didn't know it was a dream. I guess not. What have you been doing? Because they say if you eat certain stuff before bed, like you have, do you eat like bananas before bed? No. What? Yeah, there are people. It says that like if you eat certain fruit or foods before bed, you get like more vivid. I mean, have banana in my smoothie. Maybe that's it. There you go. That explains it. You have well, you have smoothies before bed. No. Please bro. stop. Wait one one sec. I'm no. sorry. I have to interrupt you. I do not eat. Tell me for dessert. You have a no, smoothie. No. Okay. Because it's you're talking morning. to someone who choked down about six Robin's eggs last night after dinner. What are Robin's eggs? They're the supreme Easter candy, and I won't allow anything Are those the other. little blue ones? They're, yeah, and they're crunchy in the middle, and they have like the sharp, the, the, the candy shell chocolate. And then I like that. It's like a Whopper. Is it inside. the good chocolate or that shitty Easter chocolate? No, not the shitty Easter chocolate that's like wax. Yeah, the Easter bunny chocolate is kind of garbage. Just, I, I'll do you one better. Not kind of. Full gross. Yeah, I don't like it. Um, but anyway, so when this happens, sometimes I'll have dreams that are like super weird, but I like am, I get out, I'm out of it at like 4 a.m. 
Um, and I, if I have conversations with people, like I don't remember, like people were like, yeah, were you saying shit? I don't remember anything. But last night I woke up and it was 3.32 in the morning nice. and I had a dream and I was like, oh, this is hilarious. I need to write this down, but I'm delirious. Yeah, you're So this is what I wrote. I wrote sitting in bed. Well, well, hold on. In the dream, I was sitting in my bed. In your dream, you were also in your bed. And it was daytime. Ooh. So I wrote sitting in bed. Detached dick with inside my hand. Uh, so, all right. I mean, I think we can. I know what I meant to write. We could figure out what I had out a, what my that dick is. in my hand, but it, it wasn't on my body. It was detached. It was, yeah, it wasn't on my body. It wasn't like bleeding or anything either. It was just my dick was in my hand. Makes sense. Two for two, all right. I don't know that it makes sense. I think we're okay. Detached dick with inside my hand. Started eating my own dick like a chicken wing. There it is. Oh, like a chicken wing. I was eating it sideways. And then I wrote, skin came off super easy and meat was tender. Back the fuck up. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. So you're telling me you're having a dream. I ate my own dick in my dream. eating your own dick. Yeah. And I gotta say. Like a chicken wing. It's hysterical that like chicken wings have become like a manly food. And we eat them in the most like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I don't know that anyone eats Yes. Them. You had to like get your tongue in, in the, you know what I'm talking about. And like get the meat and it's like. I, well. Jesus, but I usually, like, break the... Oh, fuck you, all right? Anyway. So you're eating your dick like a chicken wing. Yeah, I, uh... So I, I, I remember, like, looking down... By the way, I'm eating in my bed. Not something I do. Um, let alone eating a dick. Well, I was gonna <laughs> say... Back, I was gonna yeah. say... You're, so, like, eating in my bed. Absolutely insane. No, yeah. You're chomping I'm on your my own, own car. fucking penis. I, so I have my dick in my hand, right? And then I, I bite it like a chicken wing would, and it came off so easy. And then I could see, like, it even looked like chicken. Were you craving chicken wings? Apparently. Who's to say? But that, I'm not done with the writing. Oh. And then I wrote, tip was not edible. Well, yeah, that's where all the cartilage is. Apparently. Apparently. It's too fatty of a piece. Yeah, you have to remove the tip, and, like, the, you could take the tip and the skin off at the same time, and then you got the meat. I'm sure dicks taste delicious, like, cooked, cooked, cooked. All right, cooked. Well, you know. <laughs> And then I wrote, wake up and checked to make sure for dick. <laughs> That's what I wrote. Wake up and checked to make sure for dick. For dick, yeah, obviously. Yeah. But I ate my dick last night in my dream. Were you, like, craving, like, chicken? I wasn't craving chicken. Wasn't craving dick. This is such, like, an elitist billionaire fucking dream of you to have where, like, you can get on the black market, like, human penises to cook and eat. You think that's what, like, that's a, by the way, for all you dream interpreters out there, what the <laughs> hell does that mean? Yeah, because like, I was, if you see a snake, that means eternal wealth. If your teeth fall out, that means change is coming. If yeah, it's eating, like, well, I'm eating my own dick in my own bed. What does that mean? I, I think I, I think we know what it means, but we're just kind of tiptoeing around the elephant in the room there. What that what that you might be a little gay for my own dick? I would say so. I mean, by the way, this just hit me. I think it was my dick. <laughs> well, it, I think you said my own dick, and you checked yourself to make sure it was. Yeah, because I was thinking this is my dick in my hands. Well, and I'm eating it. Full full stop. If you're gonna eat anyone's dick. Let it be your own. Let it be your own. Because we don't want to trust talk. your meat. We don't. Well, yeah. You want to know how you taste. Yeah. Well, no, I <laughs> yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. I heard. A, uh, a you ever taste jizz? No, never have. Never, never, never have. I feel like I've actually that mad times. We have. We've discussed this multiple times. We know people that have. Yeah. Uh, I knew someone who said that he knew a girl that would finger herself and taste it just to see to make sure like she was up to code. You know. Say again. He's like he, I have a friend. Uh, you, we have a friend, more my friend. My, I have a friend who knew a girl who would you dip test herself. Oh, like a pool. Like, See what the pH level yes, is. Yes, exactly. Yes, yeah. so you know that thing they dip in a pool and it's yeah. like, oh, um, I need another tablet. Yeah, light green. Yeah. <laughs> Throw another tablet in. <laughs> so she would just go like this and go, and she would just, you know, I, personally, although her. it's a little psychotic. The I, thought, the logic is right there. I agree because she just wanted to make sure she was good. Like I feel like you could do a smell test and not really a taste test. No, 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 no. Taste is what you're you're really going for. I mean, think about it. It's, and smell. It's like tea. Tea could be sprayed with scents to really give the idea of a really high quality tea. But if vaginas those, aren't like tea. Which, well, if you follow me here, they kind of are. Western tea culture, the United States mostly. They scent their teas. Dry leaf really doesn't taste that, I mean, doesn't smell that great. You know, it's really the wet leaf smell and the taste of the wet leaves. So what, what could be happening wet pussy. is 
Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The, the, they could be spraying them with scents. Spraying who? Who's spraying? The people. Are spraying themselves. You're going to tell me you've never sprayed your dick to make it smell better? What am I going to spray it with? <laughs> Axe. Bod. Bod? You don't remember Bod. I've never sprayed my dick with any sort of spray. Let me, t- let me. I've 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 put hand like soap on my penis to make it smell better. Why did you put hand soap <laughs> on your it penis? It didn't smell good. It, was someone going around sniffing it? Because if they, if it goes into someone's mouth or their vagina and you have hand soap on it, no, it's the scent. I know, but when it, when is someone know, just no, going to no, no, smell no, no, your no, dick? No, 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 back up, back up. You're going to tell me you've never done anything to make your dick smell a little bit cooler? Shower. <laughs> Normally, that's what I did. Okay, that makes sense when you're trying to, but like you don't always have the opportunity to shower. Say you're in like a spontaneous like situation where someone might be like ready to go right then and there, and you can't say, "Excuse me, I gotta go shower." So you just a little nothing crazy, a little just to make sure like everything is like. But I'm not gonna put soap on my dick. Like, why does your dick smell like? The I'm not soap. sitting there. I'm not sitting there, and my dick smells like fucking Dove bars of soap. That's what but it like, sounds like. But like, you wash your hands, and you just you know touch it a little bit, like around it. You know those soaps that have like scents in them? All of them? Well, no, no, not all of them. Some of them have more than others. Less. Yes, but just to make the dick smell a little bit better, Joey. Don't don't sit here and gaslight me like that's a fucking. Well, ridiculous we don't have statement. any like Summer's Eve type of. Isn't that what it's called? Summer's Eve. That is the vagina wash. It smells good. Yeah. I've never smelled it, so I don't know if it smells good. But I assume the summer smells great. I love the summer. Summer's a good. If you're gonna wash your your and I love vagina, Eve. and you love Eve, and I love Eve. You love Eve. I'm not a big Eve guy. No. I'm I, I, I I'm actually shocked that you're saying that because you strike me as more of an Adam lover than Eve. Um, um, I was talking about Eve, the, the rapper. Oh yeah, I you thought I was Eve. talking about Eve, the, the from the I, book of Genesis. I, I, did. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you went the biblical route. I was like, oh, when have I done that? What? You do love God, Joey. You have talked about God way more than I have. <laughs> okay, uh, but what I was saying um, was, if a woman is gonna wash with anything, that's the best. Season to have it smell like. Yeah. Although or, if it was like winter's or, dew, or or like an autumn wind. An uh, no, an autumn leaf. Autumn leaves. The best leaves. The best autumn like candles and stuff are like ruffled leaves, cozy leaves. No, they're usually like co- like a cabin. Cozy cabin. Oh, what's the what's the red one? It's like. Again. Apple cider. Yeah, I hate. By the way, I hate apple cider. I don't like apple f- scented stuff. Apple cider sucks. Yeah. Um, Hot apple cider? No, no, no. It's not. That's throw up. It's not. <laughs> I've thrown up. No, and it's no, been that. no. It's, it's not that bad. It's not. It's, it's not really, that bad. And they sell it by the gallon. Well, those gallon ones that you get from like fucking Shoprite, it's all just sugar. It's all just you want blech. like legitimately made apple cider. It's 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 good if you really haven't had that like could, that. Honestly, could be worse if you haven't had small batch apple cider. I would highly recommend it. I like apples, but anything they try to make apple flavored sucks. Like not apple that. pie is not good. Well, that's because cooked fruit are disgusting. They're slugs, basically. Yeah. Um. I. I like apples. I like ap- I apple. Apple juice is good. Apple juice is the best of the juices. Probably better than orange. Way better than cranberry. Leagues yeah. above grape. Ooh, ooh. Oh no, grapes pretty good. No, dude. No, no. no. Grape juice. Gr- juice. <laughs> <laughs> grape cran grape. No, that shit disgusting. Is... Whoa! Dis- no, anything that's not true. with cranberry is gross. Absolutely. You've disgusting. never had cran grape though. Watch me. Don't care. No, it's good. Still disgusting. No, it's good. No, it's not. Apple juice is good though. It makes me shit. Why do you? Can I ask? Why do you always bring up when you have to shit? Why? No, 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 no. no, no. no. Now you've pissed me no, off. No, no. Why? That's not very. Uh, that's not good etiquette to bring up when you have to shit all the time. And I don't think you realize all the that. time. You you talk about me shitting more than I talk about me shitting. You want to talk about etiquette, Joey? You're embarrassing you. me in no, front of all no, these people. No, no, Just because you think it's not on camera doesn't think we're not going to talk about this. The moment these cameras stop, Joey always goes, "Your boy has a dump." Now you're just making things up. You, Joey, fuck! I I could fucking break this table in half. If Googled you know. it. Apple juice, diuretic. There yes, you go. Yes, I know it's. I, I'm, so it makes me shit. I listen. I understand. We I'm not, all I'm not shit. arguing. I'm not arguing the legitimacy of if it if it is or is not a diuretic. 
I understand that. I am saying that it's not really good etiquette. It's kind of rude and disgusting how often you talk about having a shit. Let me ask you a question. Do you think I have brought up me shitting more than you've brought up, oh, you, you probably couldn't eat that because you're blah, 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 you, and, in front of a group. Oh, in front of oh, a group. Oh, but this is a group now. Yeah, this, this is, is a, a big group. group. This, is not a, this is a big group now. It's a now. huge group this, now. I don't, I don't consider it a group. I consider them part you're of the show. You're embarrassing me in They're front here. of company. I'm not, I'm not trying to embarrass you, Joe. You talk about my you asshole realize, stuff. I'm not talking about your asshole. You don't realize how often you bring up having to shit your pants. I say I acknowledge the fact that you continue to gaslight me because I say you have IBS and you swear to God that you don't. I don't. Definitely do, Joey. I don't. But every time... But you're ever... talking about my medical stuff. You're talking about fake medical I'm not, things. It's not fake medical. Joey, all the time. You tell me all you're the time about how eating anything will... You say, and I quote, also, my body turned it into water in an hour. Let's get something straight also. You want to talk about etiquette. What's like one of the basis things of etiquette? How you eat things. And we've already proved that you're unable to eat fruit without it sounding like you're deep-throating a man. Oh, my God. You're so dumb. How are you, like, just... True. No, Joey. No. I, <laughs> you eat like no. a pig, like a mm. hog. That, that makes it sound like delicious. Like a boar. I, I eat like a boar. I eat like a pig. Careful calling the only Spanish person here a pig, you fucking racist. And, and who, who calls Spanish people pigs? You did. Right here. You see it? <laughs> You see it? I think you are. Wait, are you hold on, hold on. Are you suggesting that you have overall better etiquette than I do? Hundo Purcell. Joey, you yeah. often Irish <laughs> goodbye. Often Irish goodbye. You talk about shit in your pants all the time. You uh, don't, don't know. Do that. You don't know how to tie ties. Actually, I learned the other day. So. By the other day, do you mean you watch? Un fucking YouTube episode? Get me a tie. Get me a tie right now. <laughs> Get me a tie right now. I would have trouble, but I did it. Do you need to do it in the mirror like a child? I didn't have a mirror. I did it. I did it watching a YouTube. <laughs> Let me be very clear about something. Yeah. If there is any single world mm -hmm. where you have better etiquette than me, it mm -hmm. has been destroyed by no. the apocalypse. You, you're just like, you have etiquette for like, like you don't actually have it. You do it. You present um, like you do. Um, no, incorrect. Yeah. I have more etiquette than you. No, you're actually a piece. I of know shit. what you don't even like soup, Joey. <laughs> What does that mean? What does you liking soup have to do with etiquette? You don't even know, like, soup is a big part of, like, etiquette, like, dinners and stuff. Soup? What are you talking about? There? You're not even making stuff up. I'm not making, how am I making and stuff And you made up? me spit my coffee. <laughs> That's your fault, bitch. Here, take another cup, you fucking idiot. You bastard, <laughs> bitch. You know, you're throwing things. Oh, yeah, real nice of you. Oh, that Look was, at me. Look you know at what? me. You, Look at forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. I, I had a lapse of judgment and etiquette because of you. I can't even... Now you're blaming me. I am me. absolutely blaming you. That's called gaslighting, I folks. can't... No, no, no. No, no, no. 101. No, no, no. I cannot even begin to fathom the fact... Joey, I've... I've fathom. Relax. It's just me and you in here. Joey, I've seen Some you... Queen of England isn't in here. I've seen you wear double-breasted t-shirts... On a day. In 2008! It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, Joey. <laughs> Double-breasted. Double this is coming from the kid who has more graphic tees than his stepson, who's eight. Let me be very clear about something, you stupid bitch. I wear those less, okay? Because, <laughs> because I've been making I've grown up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've grown up. All right? Yeah. No, I can't justify wearing a Doctor Strange t-shirt out to fucking Target anymore. Yeah. Let I know. Be, I this especially because that's where you buy them. This shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Yeah. Do you honestly look how you're sitting? Look how I'm sitting. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Now you're fucking sitting all pr mm. prim and proper. I'm sitting here because I'm on the attack. What's that? Mm. What is that? This is etiquette right here. That's not etiquette. Mm -hmm. That is not etiquette. Yes, it is. I think I am way. You're all right. <sighs> yeah. Okay. We'll figure. <sighs> look at this. Yeah, look, oh, look at you, you fucking dirty mess. <laughs> you can't even fucking put your hands on the table. Look, this is what you wanted. <laughs> this is what you wanted? I uh, See how I can do it? Unbelievable. You suck. <laughs> We're going to find out. Who gonna, all right, I'm going to fucking... We should hire an etiquette coach. So I can embarrass you? I don't know if they... I think we, we could get them to set up a competition or something. I don't know. It's I, like I, whoever could like... I don't know. Who is the most proper? What's the movie where they do that? 
Like the Princess Diaries or something? Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, is the Princess Diaries. I was thinking more along the lines of like, you know, like uh, the Charm School, VH1 Charm School, where they took like people like from witches? Flavor of Love. Do you don't remember that? No. <laughs> Man, Bucky was on there with New York, and they were going at it. In oh, School. Bucky, yeah. Yeah, you remember Bucky. I do. And, and who was the winner of season two of Flavor of Love? Who was the what? The winner of season two of Flavor of Love. I just want to see if you remember. Hoops? That's right. Delicious, bitch. I fucking remember this. I remember Hoops won Hoops. season one. Hoops was fire. She had it. She was with Shaq for a while. Good for both, both of them, them I guess. Yeah, I good for both of them. She was like legitimately five foot, and he's definitely not. Yeah, his you, balls were. You think you too think, much? You think Shaq is packing? I feel like you have to. He has to, dude. He's got a, He's got everything going right for him. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll never find out. Don't say it never. <laughs> Don't say never. That's not the expression. <laughs> never say never. There you go. <laughs> Don't say never. So, all right. Well, now we know more about you. Not only are you delusional and thinking that you have more etiquette, better etiquette, I should say, excuse me, uh, but also uh, you eat your dick in your own dreams. <laughs> so I think. But I ate it and I had a napkin. Uh, oh, wait. So. You had a napkin? To like, <laughs> was there sauce on it? Or you raw, no, no, you raw was, dogged your dick? Literally raw dick. You raw dogged your own dick? <laughs> Can I ask you a serious question? Yeah. What would be your go-to sauce for a dick? For a penis? Yeah. Cajun? Ooh. Ooh or maybe some smoky chipotle. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. That's a good one. I like a little a little sweet and spicy. I actually had I had these little like nips of hot sauce of when I went to uh, the factory where we make ours, and they had like a bunch of different sauces, so I took a bunch. And I had this like spicy barbecue chipotle thing. Ooh. I used the whole thing on the Anything sandwich. Anything that is smoked, I will shove directly in me. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Barbecue sauce, you know what I mean. Anything that is smoked, yeah, you know, like a smoked brisket. Oh, when you ever watch those shows and they pull like a this hunk of meat out of like this cabinet outside, yeah, it's and like, it's just it's just black, it's charred, and you're like, what? And then they cut it, and you're like, oh, yeah. Oh no, the best is when they cut it and they hold it and they squish and it, they squeeze it, and you it. see the little juices oh, coming out. Oh, like, oh, like pussy. What? Huh? What, what was that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, those are my favorite. Like when they literally, they do like, have you ever seen videos of people making burnt ends? No, but I have eaten them oh. and they're good. Have you had burnt ends? Mad times. That's a dream of mine. I've never I had, had them. I had duck burnt. Oh, no, I didn't. Was it duck burnt ends? I don't know. Either way. I don't I, even know what a burnt end is. I, don't know. It, I think it's like a cheek or something. I, I think it's, well, I don't know. I don't know if it's, whatever it is. It might be butt. Not a joke. Pork butt. I'm with it. <sighs> Only time I've had like, like fucking barbecue was in Austin. Like I've had barbecue. Oh, that place was good too. I've had barbecue, but like fucking barbecue. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was a good spot too. That was really good. Um, all right. So, you know, before we move forward, we do have some ads for today. The first one being Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix is the easy way to get clothes that fit you without having to endlessly scroll through the options. Okay. So you go on their site, you fill out a few questions at their style quiz. You tell them like what kind of clothes you wear, what your price range is, what kind of patterns you like. And they will select clothes uh, in sizes available from extra small to 3XL uh, to find you the perfect fit, um, all from brands that you know and love. So uh, it makes it easy to have like a personal stylist that's just going to send you clothes every month or whenever. Um, right now, Stitch Fix is offering our listeners $20 off for their first fix, fix at stitchfix.com slash basement. That is stitchfix.com slash basement for $20 off today. Um, say goodbye to the stress of going to the store and looking at everything and blah, blah, blah. You could just do it online, tell the people what you like, and they'll pick items for you. Um, and usually you get pretty good at it. I, I've had Stitch Fix for some time now. Uh, again, that is stitchfix.com slash basement. So go try it out. Get stylish. Uh, and we also have Squarespace here. Sorry, uh, Squarespace. Um, you can go on their site and, uh, you know, you could stand out with a beautiful website, uh, engage with your audience and sell anything. If you have products or you create content or whatever it is, if you need a website, you can use Squarespace. The reason why I love them so much is because they have these templates to choose from. They have a bunch and they all make the, the website look beautiful and you can customize it and change certain things. But for the most part, the templates make it very easy to like just launch a website, like cut all that time in half of building a website from scratch. Cause I have done that in the past before and it took months 
And with Squarespace, you literally could click a button and then customize some things and you're good. You could do it in a day, basically. Um, so it makes it very easy. Um, and uh, Squarespace is the one. This is the one I used to, to build like most of the websites that I've ever made in my entire life. Um, so yeah, uh, you can head to squarespace.com slash basement for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code basement to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Again, that is squarespace.com slash basement for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code basement to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay? There you go, folks. And while we're continuing to tell you about all these great things, uh, I want to tell you about the P-A-T-R-E-O-N, baby, Patreon, patreon.com slash the basement yard. Ladies and gentlemen, Come on over. Come and hang out. Come join the Patreon. Patreon. Come on over. Come on over, baby. All right. <laughs> I wish there was more. Than I, know, I, don't, I don't honestly don't know. Uh, but there might be more for people to learn about at patreon.com slash the basement yard where we continue to tell you all the time that we're growing those we're growing those numbers we're getting up and up and up we're becoming closer and closer to being the number one podcast on patreon so with your help we will be able to get there all right so go on over to patreon.com slash the basement yard join today and then you know i'll be telling you welcome to the patreon motherfucker where we don't play where all these patrons get new episodes like every friday all right so go check it out because the boys here at the patreon uh, the, the basement yard, I should say. Well, you, you know what we are. We're, we're sweet, we're smoky, we're sexy, and you get a little bit more of that on Patreon.com where you sign up for that first tier. You get these weekly episodes a week in advance. That second tier, ooh, that's where you get exclusive episodes. So you can use your phone. Don't need to use a burner because the basement yards, where the truth lies sojourner, okay? Go check it out, Patreon.com slash the basement yard. What the <laughs> hell was that? Who is the, you don't have to use a burner because the what's a journer? What does that even mean? Is that words? <laughs> Did you make that up? <laughs> what is that? No, I'm putting in little Easter eggs to, to songs like I did with the high school music. <laughs> what thing. song is that? You don't know that song? <laughs> what is it? You don't need a burner. I'm a truth like Sojourner. Mm-mm. Sojourner Truth. You don't. Eh. Well, who's that? I'm gonna. If someone, I will. I will repost whoever can tag me in where that is from the the quickest because it's a goodie. All right. So go check it out. Picture on Way to go, Frank. Uh, also- what, what do you mean, way to go? I, I put things in here that are a little more spicy and cool and fun. <laughs> Fucking God. I'm sorry. I'm, I am a little spicy on edge. Spicy and cool and fun. I'm a little on edge. I'm, I, get a little, I get a little upset uh, after you specifically told me on the Patreon episode that I wasn't in your top three of party people anymore. But, you know, it's okay. <laughs> party people. <laughs> yeah, party people. Party people! Remember that song? No. There's an Easter egg for you, bitch. Party people. Tag team, man. Yeah. What is that from? Space Jam or something? Oh, yeah. Come on and slam. Yeah, that's if a- you want to jam. <laughs> I don't know what. You ain't Charles Barkley. You just want to be who looks like him. It's a good movie. That is a really good movie. Um, okay. I have written down here, but you haven't explained what's going on. How to make a sandwich. Yeah. I So I made a sandwich for myself this morning. Remember when you uh, made fun of most of my sandwiches? And I wanted... Well, I wanted to ask. Wait, you, what was on the sandwich? This one that I had today, yeah, was cheddar cheese. Oof, good start. Bread. You don't have to say that. Uh, well, I just want to make sure. Mayo. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> I just put the other piece of bread on it right now. <laughs> no, <laughs> and then there was salami and ham. Oof, not that's bad. It's good. good. It's a, it's a, it's a very no, fat. No, no, no lettuce. No lettuce. I didn't have any lettuce. Oh. Uh, but I want to ask you, how do you make your sandwiches? Because I. I lay everything flat, but I got around my sa- I got pussy lips around my sandwich. You know what I'm saying? How are you making your sandwiches? What? I, what? You know what I'm talking about? No, I don't. When you lay, because the pieces of meat are mostly bigger than the bread. Oh, you lay it flat. I lay it all flat. Why? Because why else? How else would I fucking make it? Please tell me. Now this is why I wanted to ask this question. Yeah. You're one of those idiots that fucking like. Lays them down like a coil on your fucking... Yeah. Why? Because it just tastes better. How does it taste better? Wait, when you make a sandwich, you like lay like ham, like totally flat. Flat. No, you gotta like fucking... No, I don't fucking... I don't get decorative with... Like a load of... Like like a a fucking thing of... What am am I... I don't know. So you're when you're making your sandwiches, you're fucking like... It's supposed to look like a pile of laundry. No, it's not. Like ham laundry. Then why do they make the meat flat, Joey? 
They don't make the meat flat. The meat is just flat. No, they make it flat. So you lay it flat and then you have extra, you have hangover around the side. So before you eat your sandwich, you can take a trip around the perimeter. I do that anyway because there still is some spill. No, but not enough spill. Because your spill is like you have like a little yeah, fucking... Yeah, but, but then you have a sandwich that like you have bread and you have flat ham. Yeah, delicious. But then it looks so dumb. You have evenly distributed ham. Because you're taking bites of sandwiches and you're getting too much ham and not enough of whatever else is Too much in there. ham. Yes, you are. Frank, just because I layer the ham like that doesn't mean that there's more ham on it. Yes, it does. Because now you have one layer and then if it's like curled up in bunches, you have like six layers of ham in one spot. Yeah, but I also have the other stuff doing that as well. Stupid. Let me be clear. Mm -hmm. That is stupid. You, you're, you're the one. Okay, the professionals of the world. Whom? Are, whom? Sandwich makers. Go into a sandwich shop. Yeah, Joey. Go into a sandwich shop. They're going to lay it flat. No, they won't. What sandwich certain things? Go to South Chris and Charlie's, you stupid dumb bitch. Go to South Chris and Charlie's and they lay it all flat. That's different. No, why is it different? Are they not the professionals? There's one of the professionals. Who, who else are you talking about? Jimmy John? Your boy from Subway? Who the what was that guy? <laughs> Who's that guy you used to spend all that time with from Subway? Jeff. Oh, that was his name? Oh. I was like, what are you talking about? No, I forgot. First of all, Jared wasn't making the sandwiches. You make your own sandwich, you idiot. No, you don't make your own sandwiches. You have the people behind the counter to make the sandwich. Facts. Which, by the way, Subway? No. It's not good. It's not that sweet onion sauce is good. But it is. You I know literally what I'm take that sweet onion sauce and be like. I remember you used to fucking throw back chicken pizziolas like it was going out of style. I used to, but then I started doing the sweet onion chicken teriyaki. Disgusting. I haven't eaten in Subway in years, and I refuse to now because their bread is yoga mats. Is that? Yeah. Oh yes, that is not a joke either. I need a yoga mat too, though. But I like that material. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. How does Subway do it? They lay it flat. Is that the right way? The flat is the right way, is Joey. It? I'm telling you it's the right way. Well, then why am I bunching? Because you're an idiot. <laughs> but, We've established yeah, this. Yeah, but, but it's a learned behavior. Yes. So who do you learn it from? Probably your idiot mom. <laughs> I'm sorry, Liz. You're not the idiot. Uh, can I, your idiot dad? <laughs> Which I of don't your know. parents are dumber, Joey? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It is a learned behavior. Wherever you learned it from, it's stupid. I do believe, though, that it tastes better when it's bunched. But you then have... It's like, it's like it looks cooler. You have like a flat, boring-looking sandwich. Listen, one of my favorite things on this planet is symmetry. I like when things kind of work together, when they are okay. the same. I like... Is it in your top three? Of favorite things on the planet? Mm -hmm. I have kids and well, my wife, Damn which it. are probably one and, one and two. One, I would say. They're all... The same Who do you love more, your kids or your wife? Man, different levels of love, but I would use my wife as a bat to protect my children. <laughs> you trick! <laughs> you trick your own spit! I just drank this coffee that I spit in here before. What am I doing? <laughs> I would use my wife as a bat yeah, to protect my children. I really would. That's smart. And she would kill me too. To protect our children. <laughs> <I'm> sorry, <laughs> to protect what? our children. But what was I getting at? Oh, yeah. Symmetry. Know. Yeah, yeah. So anywhere on that sandwich where you bite, you're going to get a good bite of a sandwich. A well a fair representation. Let me ask you a different question about mm. sandwiches. If there's a, a mayo situation, where do you put it? Both sides. Top and bottom. But you put it on the bread. Of course. People that just squirt it on the meat, you... I also do that. Oh. I spread it on the meat. Not a surprise from the person eating their dick in their dream. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah, I don't know. For me, I'm like, if I just put this on the bread, the bread's just going to soak it up. But that's what you want. I don't want it soaked you don't want, up. Do you want to take a bite and have fucking yes. mayo running down your face? Yes. You like mayo that much? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't. But I would rather that. No, I'd rather it be like evenly distributed. I feel distributed. like I can't taste it. I want, Joey, a big part, like I said, the symmetry is I want fairness for everybody. You know how you're always talking about Here we go. how you don't want that? <laughs> you want some bites to have more mayo than others, <laughs> right? No, I don't. But then how do you, then why not distribute it evenly on the bread? I do. I, I spread it with a knife. On the bread? On the, on the, no, on the, well, sometimes I do the bread. It, it's not, with not, with mayo, I won't do that because I don't like that much mayo. But like something else, like I'll put it on the bread and then on the, also whatever else. 
uh, it's on the bread, top and bottom on the bread. You get a good, you get a healthy hunkin of, of mayo. You have a what was that measurement that a you just said? A hunkin. A hunkin. A healthy hunkin of mayo. What? How much You've is a hunkin? You've never heard that saying, Joey. No. I've got a I've got a real hunkin for some mayo. You got a hankering. Oh. <laughs> You were thinking of like a hankering? I swear to God, I thought it was hunkin. <laughs> well, I gotta look it up. Healthy hankering. Healthy hunkin? Is that, am I right? This is mental health awareness. Oh. What, are we, what are we talking about? Is it hankering? Uh, hankering. Uh, uh, well, you wouldn't even say healthy hankering. A hankering is a strong desire to have or to oh, do something. Well, then a healthy hankering is like a, a, a healthy desire. I've had a healthy desire to uh, to get this. some mayo in your cheek. To get some, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, I don't know. I like feeling like, like, like the wetness. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But I, that's what I'm. I'm serious. Like when you, when I eat a sandwich, or I eat anything. I need it to be like dipped in something, or I need like I need I some am, sort of wet. I am I am a wet boy too. I I'm a sauce guy. We're I, wet guys. I like I'm I consider myself a wet guy. Wet boys. Wet boys. Dip boys. Dip boys. Wet sauce boys. boys. Sauce boys. Wet dippy sauce boys. Yeah. Because those are where that's where a lot of flavor comes in. But sometimes. people who just like eat fries like raw, like dry. I'm like disgust. What the hell? Dude. And then you eat a sandwich. With nothing on it. People that eat sandwiches that it's like, oh, just just put, just put. First of all, people that eat just dry cheese sandwiches, wild, convinced they like, are murderers. The only thing I will say is like a ham and cheese. You get wet. You get wet ham, dude. Ham is that's wet. that's true. It is a ham is wet. Meat. It is very wet. Yeah, but there are I don't know, bro. Also, like, do you like bologna? I love bologna. I think it's good. Thin bologna. But do you too thick? Yeah, I don't like that. A little too. Do you peel the sides? No, I used to do it. Uh, well, well, you're now talking about like Oscar Mayer bologna from the store. I'm talking. No, I'm like, talking about like you go to the deli and they oh, like I cut don't it. Think deli bologna, I've had thin and there's no sides on it. Really? I don't like the bologna though. It makes it feel like you're like there's like grains in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like all oh, it's like sandy in your mouth. No, I don't know what you mean. Yeah, well, can I ask you a real question? Because it's like eating a rubber band. Do you like olive loaf? No, we. I don't like we, olives. We, oh, okay. Well, I was gonna love say. a good loaf though. I love bologna. Love olives. Olive loaf can't can't eat it. Looks too much like a med's back. No, <laughs> not gonna, not gonna go there whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, that's why I wanted to ask you how you were a sandwich. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> that's why I wanted to ask you how you were a sandwich. Yeah. What's your favorite like dippable sandwich? Dippable sandwich. Yeah. Like sandwich dip combo. I've never had a French dip. Dude, I haven't had one in a while, but that's very good. You know what I had the other day? Oh, when you dip, what's that called? What's shit called when you like dip a taco? Oh, fuck. I don't know. That shit's good. Like a jus? What? A jus. Be careful. I don't know. <laughs> it sounded like you're. It's, I I, it's called a, a, a jus. It sounds like you're drunk and trying to say jus. No, I'm not. I, but I. I would like I wouldn't not. <laughs> see, see, you got me all flustered now. I don't know what you're saying. I'm not like I. I would say, like it went. <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about. Jew. Yeah. I'm not saying like I wouldn't say Jew. I would. I'm. Uh, you just did. But like I'm not. God damn it, Joey. You okay? <laughs> I'm a little flustered. I got to be honest. It sounds like it. Look it up. Not Jew. Which ones? <laughs> Who am I looking up? Which jus. which group of people? It's like a dip that you dip stuff in. It's called. How do I jus. spell that? I, I think it's J. 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 W. I don't know. Just look up like sandwich sandwich J. sandwich Jew. No, this is a ranking of Jewish sandwiches. <laughs> number number two is bagel and locks. I thought that would definitely be first. Oh, number one has got to be pastrami. Yeah, but the, the, oh, the Reuben. Yeah, no, the pastrami on rye. Pastrami on rye is number four. Whoa, Reuben number, number one, one? Is, a, is a sabbich? What is that? I don't know, but I, I'm not going to pretend to judge it because I've never had it or heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not even going to I'm, I'm, I'm not even gonna say because people are going to think that I'm being funny. But I'm just going to let you... If you have the same... Oh, you same, want me to read it? No, no, no. I'm not going to make you read it, but if, if you have the same... This is because it's a ranking of Jewish sandwiches. Yeah. Look at this and tell me what you thought it was at first. 
Hold on, I gotta find it now. Oh boy. There we go. The name of the sandwich, Frank. Yeah. That's what I, at first I was like, oh, what? I thought they were taking, I don't know. A weird way of taking things back, you know? Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm glad we cleared up your sandwich, uh, you know, making skills. Yeah, I mean, I usually just make peanut butter and jellies. You're an adult. How do you make a peanut butter and jelly? Do you put it on separate pieces or you put it on the same piece? So right now, if I were to make a peanut butter jelly today, I'd go back in time and be six years old again. Um, and then I would realize that I'm not a fucking child anymore and I wouldn't eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's a miserable existence you have. That's not a miserable. I'll tell you right now. Are you ready, stupid idiot? Jelly, peanut butter, together. That's it. Do you do anything like extra? (sighs) Well, if you want to get... So I do it. I do that too. Uh, If you really want to get... Like Miles sometimes has peanut butter and jellies for school, but we got him like a, a sandwich cutting and press thing where it makes little crustables. Okay. You know what those are? Remember Crustables? They're like sandwich pockets, basically. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You stuff them in. And in that situation, I just put the jelly right on top of the, uh, of the peanut butter. Oh. But I'm not a big peanut butter boy. What? I'm not a big peanut butter boy. You don't like peanut butter? I like it, but like people that are like, oh, like they can take spoonfuls and just suck on them. I could. I, I could. I wouldn't. It would be the last thing I would do. Really? Yeah. I'm, like it's too, it's too much. Peanut butter. It's too strong. Strong. Too much, too strong. Yes. Okay. The best place for peanut butter is in a shake with like bananas and cinnamon and Greek yogurt. Yeah, it's good in shakes. But like peanut butter as it like it's just it's just too much. That's oh I don't even what do you mean too much? Too much. How Joey? can it be too much? It's too much. It's two ingredients. Any it's two it's actually just one ingredient. It's peanuts. Just, just peanuts. Well there's some sort of oil, I think. It's guess what kind of oil? Peanut oil? Naturally occurring. <laughs> I am a prick. <laughs> What is wrong? What is that wrong? was such a piece of shit way to say that. What's, what's wrong with me? That was like, that was not nice. Naturally, <laughs> um, I feel like a kindergarten. Yeah, you should. But like, goddamn, uh, <laughs> what was it? It's just it's just too much. Anytime yeah. you've had peanut butter and anything, all you taste is peanut butter. Bananas are like that. Bananas, so but, that's why it wor- but that's why it works well with peanut butter and with cinnamon. I love are- bananas with peanut butter. I do too. Yeah. Those are three really strong bananas, peanut butter, and cinnamon. Strong individual things. So when you put them together, they mesh well. Let me tell you which fruit I want to beat up. What is, what is, all right. What is Beets. The- uh, beets are technically a vegetable. So. Oh, yeah. Let's try that again. <laughs> Which vegetable I want to beat up. Okay. Beets. Okay. I do like it. I didn't really like beets. And then I had like good pickled beets and boy, are they good. Yeah. But pickled beets aren't like, and I don't like ca- kimchi is cabbage, right? That's yeah. That's yeah. Fermented. So like kimchi is great. Fermented cabbage. Yeah. But I don't like cabbage. I'm like, eh. oh, I love cabbage. You, you love I cabbage. I love cabbage. Absolutely. I, I've I eaten mean, a head of cabbage. Do you love cauliflower too? I do love cauliflower. I've eaten a head of cabbage. You've eaten a head of cabbage. Yes. Raw. Uh, it was not long after I'd eaten a head of lettuce. I think I had accidentally thought it was lettuce, but you know how it's a little more like rubbery. Uh, I've never eaten a head of these things because yeah, I'm, I was I'm a, a couple, human being and not a rabbit. I was, <laughs> I was a couple bites in when I realized it wasn't lettuce, but it was still good. You can't tell the difference between cabbage and a couple bites. I, I had to take a couple bites to figure it out. Right. Still delicious. You couldn't just tell by the color. Not all the time. No. There's green. Cabbage is there? You don't know that there's green. Cabbage? I don't. I don't. I you don't. thought that cabbage was only red. I'm really not tapped in. No, I thought that cabbage was like white. Yeah, it's like white and there's green in there. A little white and green. I don't know. Can't believe that. I don't know. So you do you like pickles? Yeah, I like pickles. Are you one of those freaks though that make pickles like their whole fucking personality? No, you do that. No, I do not, Joey. Yes, you do. Uh, when was the last time you've seen me eat a pickle? Exactly. You hide it from me because I made fun of you for eating it literally again, like 
sucking no, a man no, no, on no, Valentine's no, Day no, on your anniversary. No, no, dude, no. Frankie eats pickles like it's him and this pickles wedding night. It's fucking insane. I'm gonna try something different here, bro. You don't go. <laughs> I'm gonna just eat this pickle like I'm crazy. Really gonna, bro. He knows. Really, Look at him. I'm really, Frankie. I'm going to try eat a pickle on this show so people can just understand what I mean. I'm just saying. I'm going to respond in a calm, coherent fashion because I don't think I've had enough water today, and I think I have a little bit of a headache. Okay. Yeah. The best part of pickles is the juice. I just, just let me finish before you interrupt me. Sucks the juice right out of Joey! me. Joey! So when I eat pickles. You suck it dry. I, Joey? When I eat pickles, I like to get every drop of moisture out of them. I don't like to just chew it. You like to drain its balls. I don't like to just chew pickles. I like to put a pickle in my mouth and extract all the flavors so I can really get into how, you know, is there garlic, dill, what's in there? Yeah. It's not gay. I'm not saying that. That's what you said. No, I'm saying you're, you're doing it like you're... like, it, like Filleting a man? You're making... Why can't I enjoy pickles the way it now? I'm gonna... I like watching you eat pickles. <laughs> Do you now? <laughs> yeah, it's a scene. It's a scene. It is a bit of a scene. It's like the same reason why I like watching the Discovery Channel and I like watching like, like hy hyenas. Like, I was going to say when like lions kill a gazelle. They're like chewing the neck of a fucking zebra. <laughs> and you're like, fucking, this is crazy. So I am, a, I am an animal to you. With a pickle in your hand. Anything to do with my, uh, you know, uh -huh. familial history of nationalities. What? Because I'm Hispanic, you call me an animal? You think th there's only animals in Spain? A little bit of a stretch. little bit of a stretch. Yeah. I'll admit that. Huge bit of a stretch. <laughs> I would say that. I like to eat pickles the way I like to eat pickles, Joey. Nothing wrong with that. Cool. We do have some sponsors for today's God. show. <laughs> uh, the, <laughs> now we have uh, BetterHelp. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online counseling, online therapy, uh, and it will help you. Uh, I've been in therapy for over two years, and I think it's amazing. I do it every single week. Um, and with BetterHelp, you can start communicating with a therapist in uh, under 72 hours or 48 hours, something like that. Uh, but it's a very quick turnaround, and they make it very seamless to jump from therapist to therapist so you can find the right fit for you. Um, you know, if you're going through any sort of trauma or you deal with anxiety or depression, or even if you feel totally fine, I still recommend therapy to, to people because I think that, you know, much like eating right or going to the gym, I think that it's just healthy to talk to a, a, to a therapist, kind of make sure everything's ship shape. Um, also, it's very affordable way more affordable than in-person therapy, which is a lot, especially if you don't have the right insurance. So, you know, it's just a good thing. And I think it's a, it's affordable, which makes it good. And uh, I think everyone should be doing it. And you can save some money on top of that, on top of it already being affordable, if you visit betterhelp.com slash basement yard today and get 10% off of your first month. Um, again, that is betterhelp.com slash basement yard. Uh, and you will get 10% off your first month, okay? That is B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash basement yard. So go save 10% off your first month and uh, get your mind right. You know what I mean? Our next sponsor is Etsy. Etsy is great. I love shopping on Etsy, especially when the holidays come around and for birthdays. It's always the first website that I go to uh, when looking for gifts for other people or something that I just want in my apartment as well. Uh, there is beautiful items that are made by independent sellers on this website, uh, and there's a bunch of things that you can buy, uh, jewelry, furniture, art, and more uh, for all budgets, any occasion. Like I said, uh, usually when occasion rolls around, if it's you know, a uh, Valentine's Day or it's Christmas or someone's birthday, I will go on Etsy and see what's out there. There's wonderful things. I know I've bought uh, a wallet for one of my friends that was made out of like a baseball jersey on this site from an independent seller there. So really cool items that you can get, really cool gifts, I gift ideas. And if you're new to Etsy, you can use the code NEW for 10% off your first purchase. That is the code NEW. Uh, maximum discount value of $50. Offer ends June 30th, 2023. You can see terms at etsy.com slash terms for home style and gifts. Uh, shop etsy.com. Etsy has it. Again, 
Uh, use the code NEW for 10% off of your first purchase if you're a new Etsy shopper. Uh, but yeah, anyway, kind of wanted to end this show with an interesting uh, matter here. Uh, since, you know, we found out that we're, we're like, you know, big in the gay community. All gay of a icons, baby. Love it. All the days. I'm an ally, babe. Uh, that's not. That's, that's not, not the that's one. Not, that's not it. <laughs> I'm an ally for all. How about that? <laughs> what's like, what's like the hand one for. For gayness? For like the LGBTQIA. I, I don't know that they have a. Community. What's the IA? We've done this. Intersex and. Uh, a asexual, I think. I, I I hope if I'm mistaking it, please correct me right now as you look it up. What is it? L B G D L G B T Q. One second. Q L G B T Q I A I A plus. Me, me plus. Imagine being the plus. You're like, bro, let us get a letter. Give me a letter, but give me a it, fucking it, it, letter. The I A petition, and the I got I, it. The I A got Those in right the, before the plus. Even the Q. I th- wait. Q is queer. I believe. No, I know, but didn't they? Weren't they a late edition? Well, yeah. Like LGBT were like the, LGBT, the 13 those, colonies. Those, those, that's the Mount Rushmore. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly. They were in fir- exactly, the 13 colonies. And then they started you know, adding some stuff. IA, though, they made a push. IA came in at the last minute, real late addition to the squad. and. But who's the plus? The plus. Got to get some more letters here. I think the plus. There's, there's plenty of plus in there. I know, but how? But it, it, originally it was LGBTQ+. Plus, and then the IA I was, was like, LGBT. oh, no, we IA. It was just LGBT+. And then we we got some Q in there. The 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 yes. Then the Q was like, oh, can I? Do you mind if I? And they were like, come, come on, on over. And, and the IA were like, kick the door in. We're, like, because there was, there was we're a lot. here. Li- if you say no, you're kind of making the other person's point. Exactly. And you were right. It's lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, uh, intersex, queer, queer. Excuse me. Uh, intersex and then asexual. And then the plus. I'm clicking on the plus. The plus is used to signify all the other gender identities and sexual orientations. So it's an all-encompassing, dude. That's why it's very inclusive. All about it here at the basement yard. I'll be honest with you. I don't know how many letters we can actually fit at the end of this now. Because IA, we're really pushing it. Well, it, it's if we're being honest. Because um, there's a lot of them. So it's like. I think that when they, when they, after the A, they were like, we just need a plus it here. Like, we can't. We can't. Yeah, but they, they, they plus. They had plus. Because it would be, it would be a little bit of a, a mouthful every time if we were just like LGBTQIATRFXSW. I know. But I'm saying there was a plus, but then we added IA. Yeah, IA really. I want to really know who's it. running the fucking. Who's the president of, 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 of the I of and the, the A? Because these are leaders. Well, they're, they're different chapters. So the LGBT That's what it is. Q plus, they're the, the national, you know, like the head. Lesbians and, then, and gay are really running the town, I feel like. Well, I don't know. I mean. Or they're the OGs is my point. I would say they're the, uh, I would say probably. I, we don't know. Now that we are becoming more accepting. Damn, intersex has a cool. What's their flag? It's like, I mean, this one is like in the shape of hearts, but it's like a yellow one with like a circle in it. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, it's I really dope. like the trans flag. It's really cool. Which one is that? It's the one that has the triangle on the side. What? And there's pinks and browns in there, I believe. Transgender flag. Let's see who has cool flags. Oh, this shit is fire. Yeah, it's pretty no, cool. No, it's more... No, it's like light. It's like pink, white, and like blue, light blue. Where's the... There, there's that brown one. in one. Yes, that's the one I like. That, I'm, that I've, I've missed... That's a good flag. Oh no, I just I just mis I misgendered the flag. I just no, you didn't the, misgender anything. I, I you fucked the, up the flag. I fucked up the flag. I, I misidentified it. Sexual orientation flags. Let's see how cool these ones are. Let's see who has the worst fucking flag. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's find out who has a shit flag. Uh, well, I, I don't want to. Oh, wow! Them. I don't want to offend any flags because I do. It's they, just a flag. They all have, no, but they have reasons behind them. Oh. Yeah. Oops. It's not just like it's just like oh let's just put together a flag. There's a straight ally flag. Uh oh, is it the United States flag? <laughs> no, yeah, it's gotta be. Obviously, it wouldn't be that, Frank. <laughs> <Or is> it... <laughs> but <laughs> no, these are these are straight allies. That's a kind of oh a sick straight one. ally. I thought it was like straight. That's well, a cool one. Why is there a straight ally flag? That looks like the like dark side of the moon like album cover. I was thinking Pink, Pink Floyd. Floyd. <laughs> I was thinking it looks like Pink Floyd. I saw recently someone posted like Pink Floyd posted their like 50 year. Logo trig gender. What is that? Trig gender. That sounds like really tough math. I was gonna say that's that you're getting into circles and squares and triangles. Okay, as such, a trig gender, oh trigender, bro. I am a fucking idiot. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You wrote trig 
Ender. Yeah. Oh, no. And then I accidentally hit a button, and then, it was, and then my computer went, what? But then this says, a person defines their identity in a third category, which is not situated between man and woman. Oh, okay. All right, good. That's what we're, right, we're learning how we got to learn somehow, right? This one I have. Scoliosexual? Is that like you love is spines? Is that like people who... <laughs> okay. People who love who have just like fucked up backs. <laughs> Scoliosis. No, it's um people who is the attraction to people who are transgender or non binary. Okay. Scolio though. Oh I mean, why scolio? Yeah. I will say that's a uh, they are really like trying there's a, to There's another flag that says aromantic. Is this like aromantic? Is that like aromantic? And like an aromancer? Uh, an aromantic experiences little to no rom- romantic attraction to persons of gender. Wait, so, what? okay. Not like a like a romantic uh connection. I guess could be a sexual connection but not a romantic one. Uh, I'm not so sure. I got to be honest, I'm a little confused. There's 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 some good flags here. These are good flags. Yo, know, the intersex one is just mad clean. That is a really that's good a one. Clean I have to flag. say, way better than like state flags. You ever seen the New York flag? That's a that's a messy bitch. They got too much that's shit. A messy loud bitch. This is the that's the thing, bro. I will say the best state flag I've ever seen. California. I love that with bear. the with the bear. The yeah. Bear is cool. Oh my god, New York state flag is disgusting, dude. You know, if we as a country had just been more accepting of people in the LGBTQIA plus community. When they were making cool, like when we were making like state flags and like state models, we would and have shit, cooler flags. It would be way cooler, dude. But like, so the lesbian flag is that I like makes that. sense. That's a good one too. That one, ew, the straight flag. We have a whack flag. The sh- why do we need a flag? Well, we have a, the, the straight flag is just the it's, US. it's just three lines. It's kind of like Adidas. <laughs> yeah, uh, we- <laughs> it's not cool. Get some color in this thing. Yeah, come on. Scolio sexual flag. I will say coolest. No, no, it's not cool. Damn, it's like this. This one, that, scoliosexual. Is that like Palestine or no, Iran? That's literally that doesn't look like that at one all. One of them has similar colors. Um, I think my favorite. <laughs> well, the LGBTQ, the classic rainbow is hard to beat. Wait, I have this, to admit. No. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of the classic rainbow. This one is fire. The updated one where it's like they have yes, the triangle. Yes, that's the one I was talking that about That one's before. fire. That one is super fire. That one's good. Absolutely. Bisexual flag, sick. Which one is the bisexual one? The blue this one? This one. It's like blue with the pink yeah, like running that, into that, it. That was really that's cool. That's a good one. Pansexual flag, I'm kind of digging too. If only You used to have like sweaters now look, like now that. Now just look up the New York State flag. I looked it up. And it's disgusting. Yeah. There's like two people holding like a fucking like pencil and a book. Yeah, it's come like, on, come on, dude. give me a break. What Imagine is this, if we had Scholastic some... Book Fair? Yeah, the fuck it's New York want, State, I want some asshole. color in there, you know? A little like something that pops a little bit more and better. Ooh, the bi-gender flag. Let me see that one. It's got some lilac in it. Ooh, I like that. Damn. Listen. Let's the just... non-binary flag, I'll be honest with you, needs work. Really? It does. Ah, Look well. at these colors. Black, oh, purple, white. Oh, I'm a big white. fan of that one. You know I'm a big purple guy. But the, but the pairing. I'm a, purple, I'm a big purple guy. I, that's why this one's good. Purple and yellow. The intersex yeah, one. Yeah, that's a good one too. Honestly, none of them are bad. Like, none of them are flat out bad, if you ask me. Uh, this one's not great. Gynosexual. I don't know what it means, but that's not good. Brown, pink, and green. Like I said, there's absolutely doesn't, a reason for it. So doesn't feel tread, like... Tread a little lightly, Joe. It's just, I'm just talking about the colors. I'm yeah, talking the about colors. the colors. I'm not talking about what it is. Receptosexual. What does that mean? Receptosexual? Like you're, you're turned on by receptionists? <laughs> it's a sexual orientation on the asexual spectrum, meaning someone who does not experience sexual attraction unless they know that. Hold. The other individual is sexually attracted to them first. Oh, so you I have to be... kind of like that. I mean, I guess I'm kind of like that. <laughs> so we, I guess I'm kind of like that. Like, afraid to, like, admit that you're, like, attracted until, like, you get the... Re- it's reciprocated. No. Well, no. Well, that's different. I think this one sort of means, like, it's more... Uh, you find out about it and you're like, oh, I guess I am too. Yeah. I, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Instead of, like, you won't be sexual, sexually attracted to someone until they pursue you sexually, I think. Okay. Fray sexual. That's a cool flag. I like that one too. Fray? Like you're just, you're just like the fray. I was gonna say like you're just attracted to the fray. <laughs> <laughs> Where I, I, did I go wrong? I would be, Is that the fray? Yeah. Um, it's a term that describes someone who ex- 
oh shit, I clicked on it in the wrong thing. Um, who experiences sexual attraction towards people they don't know or don't know very well. Ooh, I feel like that, that's, that's a, a lot of people. Little... Go on Instagram. You see the comments on any girl's picture. <laughs> or, I think there's a lot of men there. Who or are Joey's. Sexual. You could just go to his. <laughs> a lot of them are just like, oh my God, wet, wet, wet. <laughs> Yeah, but all, I would say overall these flags are really good. Yeah, I don't understand. I guess why people get so upset about them. Or it's like there's too many. And it's like just let people just kind of do their thing. I guess you know you don't need to like. Why do you put the effort into being upset about it? You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean people get upset about flags. What are we talking about here? These are some of these cool. Oh no, this one's horrible. Autosexual. Auto. Do not make a guess. Autosexual. I mean Joey, they, they, it's right there. Autosexual means people are more attracted to themselves than others and may prefer masturbation to sex with Why a Why did you point at me? I, did I? You pointed at me. Why did you point at me? Fucking around. Why did you point at me? I don't know. You, that, that's, if, come on. Don't, don't even don't start with that. Don't you dare do that. Autosexual me? No. I thought that was going to be something with cars. You, I did too. I don't like that you pointed at me. If anyone here is an autosexual, it's the guy that texted me the other day that he jerked off 18 times before noon. That was a joke because you Wasn't were asking me. Wasn't a joke, me. Joey. There was no joking context You think there. that I could pull off jerking off 18 times before I absolutely Let alone do. 18 times in a week. Well, Mr. Healthy, I'm waking up at 5 a.m. and I'm having fucking shakes with like chia seeds in them and shit like that. That's a normal thing to do. Mm. Chia seeds in a shake, Joey? Yes. Nah. Or you put it in oatmeal. It's oatmeal. It's healthy enough. Why do you need to up health the fucking oatmeal? It's good to have chia seeds. No. Fiber. Yeah. What do you think oatmeal is? It's got some fiber. I think there's there's some in there. Yeah. I can't do the chia. Like people that make the overnight oats with just like. I'll be honest milk. with you. Overnight oats is not good. Dude, I tried it for literally. When I lived on my own. <laughs> you look traumatized when you said that. Like I just, I, I'm literally. serious. I tried it. When I lived on my own, I would try it. Like, I did like a month and a half of doing it every morning. And I was oh. sitting there like. I did it twice. Like, huh? Yeah. I couldn't fucking do it. I, because of the. I don't like the way that the. What is it? Like it yogurt? It gelatinizes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like. Ugh, I don't. It's not like giving me like yogurt. It's like. Honestly. Like. Like. Gross. Like thick. You know, like viscous. Well, what are you saying? Like, you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to spell it out here, Joey. Come? <laughs> Not where I was going, but you said it. Okay. I didn't know what you were getting All at. All right. That's but what you said. No, that's what, exactly where I was going. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, didn't, exactly, I didn't know. It's a little... I made one, and then I was like, I just don't like this. I'd rather have just oatmeal. Like, if you have oatmeal with some raw honey, it, it, that's good. That tastes I, good. I, I, can't, I mean, I can't do oatmeal anymore, and the overnight oats couldn't do it either. Now, just... Just go for yogurt. I'm telling you, if you just make oatmeal with cinnamon and raw honey in it and you mix it in. I'm telling you, my body will not allow me to eat it. It doesn't matter. It does not matter how delicious it looks. My body will just say no. Interesting. That's the way it is. That's just the way it is. Goodling, goodling, goodling. Things will never be the same. I've been going through a big Elton John phase lately. I see no changes. No, I was thinking Tupac. Well, who do you think does the piano? I know that, that Joey. Uh, I've, I've been going through a big Elton John phase. Have you? Did you watch the live thing he did at Dodger Stadium on Disney Plus? <sighs> no. What? Four hours. It's a live. It's his last time in the U.S. I should have went. If you would have gone to Elton John without me, I would have been very upset. What's your favorite Elton John song? Ooh, I mean, hard to beat the classics, but. Goodbye Yellow Brick Road has been climbing up the climbing up the rain. That's it's climbing up. Also, I'm still standing. Big bop. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feeling like a little kid. Yeah, that's the, that's my favorite part where he's well, yeah. th that part of the song. Yeah, 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 I got it. <laughs> um I might I might go uh I had it in my head. Not Benny in the Jets. Tiny Dancer. No. Goody. Not one of those. Saturday, Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting. That's the one. Crocodile Rock. <laughs> Crocodile Rock. God, I could do Elton John all day. You know what I didn't know? That fucking Elton John and uh, Dua Lipa song was it like an old Elton John song. I didn't know that. What song is it? I don't know. It's, uh, fuck, what's it called? I forget the name of it, but um, you never heard the Dua, Le du Dua Lipa song? I don't know. I've never. I can. Dua I think Peep. I've heard, one Miss Alipa song, and it's um, it's not Alipa. Do Alipa? Nope. Dua. Oh, is it Dua? Okay. Yeah. Um, the one um, 
<laughs> Their name is Do I, Alipa. I, I don't know. Oh, oh, Dua is way fucking more. It makes more sense than Do. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was the one that she had that was like a big hit? It was like something about like the uh, stars. The something about the stars. The stars and like the galaxy or something like oh, that. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. It's the only Dua Lipa song I know. Yeah. And I don't even know it. That's what I You can... definitely know like the songs because they're like mad popular. Give me other ones. Give them to me right now. Shoot them at I me. just don't know the names, but like if you heard Sing them. Sing them. I can't. I'm blanking. But anyway. I was just, I had one in my head. I have Yellow Brick Road on vinyl, by the way. Uh, I think I do too. And I have, uh, I have another one of his albums too. I just can't remember. Uh, uh, Leather Jackets. Or is that Phil Collins? I might be filling them, mixing them up right now. Mm. By the way, do you know uh, Genesis was one of the highest paid bands last year with two hundred thirty million? What Genesis? Wait, I don't even. What is Genesis? Genesis, Phil Collins' band. Oh, I didn't even know that. You didn't know Phil Collins' band was Genesis? No. <sighs> Man, you fucking idiot. Yeah, it's not. But they don't really like present each other. Like it's like Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. I thought you would know because normal people know that Phil Collins' band is Genesis. Sorry. Well, work on it. How about that? Mm. But uh, you know the Eagles have the highest selling album of all time. You know that, right? It's their greatest hits. That's kind of wild. Yeah, it's kind of a little fucked up too. Rumors is up there by Fleetwood Mac. Listened to it the other day. Still, Great album. Still got it. Great album. Absolutely, still got is it. Is that the chain? Uh, chain. Uh, go your own way. Uh, uh, fucking. There's like a bunch of other yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think Silver Springs is on there. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, not Genie. Do you know your favorite album of all time? Uh, I, it's got to be Night at the Opera from Queen. There's some bangers on there, and like some unknown bangers too. But A Day at the Races is also. What really is good. on that? I don't even know. Like what? I don't know. I, I like obviously I know like a bunch of Queen songs, but I don't know albums. Uh, what day at the races? Um, I always I do confuse day at the races and night at the opera, but I believe day at the races is no the one that you like. Yeah, day at the races. Oh, I thought you said night at the opera. Is it night at the opera? Well, it's the one that has like it has uh, old fashioned, uh, good old fashioned lover boy, drows, Teo Toriate, uh, tie your mother down. These are actual legitimately song names. Mm, crazy. Yeah, they're they're good. Tie your mother down. It's good. It's a it's a great album. Yeah. What's your favorite album of all time? It might be like, like a rock album, yeah, right? not yeah. rap, or like because like rap would be hard. Like that first, "Beg for Mercy," hard to beat. "Beg for Mercy," bro. That G Unit album was that the G Unit. How album? could that be better than "Get Rich or Die Trying"? The G Unit album is no, bro. Joey, uh, "Get Rich or Die Trying" is like it, that might be my answer, honestly. No, 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 no. Uh, my buddy is better than any song on "Get Rich or Die Trying." Frankie, I'm gonna throw up. How is it not? <laughs> it's just not. How is it? Not? Stunt 101 is better than that's a great song. every song because guess what it has? Fifty Cent and also Lloyd Banks, Young Buck. Yeah, that's great. Stunt 101 is way better than my buddy. No, my buddy it holds a special place in my heart. I smell pussy. Also on there. Don't agree with the name of it. Great song though. I smell pussy. What was it? Uh, uh, oh, also, Hunger for More. Better than Get Rich or Die Trying. Frankie, st- now you're pissing me <laughs> off. <laughs> I swear to God. No, it's not. No, it's not. The Hunger for More one. The first one. We can pull these Lloyd things Banks up. Lloyd Banks' debut album is better than Get Rich or Die Trying. You're going to tell me? Seriously. No one's going to agree with that. Literally no one. I won't. will. Dylan will. No, he won't. No, he won't. I will call him right now. Dude, I'm telling you, he won't agree with I that. I won't he, call him. I'll call him after. have jobs. I, I won't go, well, no, he doesn't have a job during the day. He works at nights. <laughs> oh. I, I, we'll, we'll figure this out. I, I'm telling you right now. But, um, but Rock I Album. Think, Rock Album. I think I, it might be Hotel California, honestly. That's a good one. I, I remember because I have that one on vinyl. I used to listen to it all the time. Mm-hmm. And there's just like so many different songs on it. Hmm. I think that might be my favorite one. And Hotel California is like not even in my top five on that album. Really? Yeah. What, is that the album that has um, uh, the Greeks don't want no freaks and uh, these shoes? It's not a joke. This is the legit. Oh yeah, question. this one has tie your brother down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> tie your brother those down. Those are those. Are, by the way, real songs. I tie totally your tried. dad up. Tie your dad. Well. Tie your dad up and dad hold up. your brother down. Hold it. <laughs> and kick your sister out. <laughs> All right, I think we can end there. But right? Also, Led Zeppelin Four. That's a great album. Four Sticks. I believe that's Four Sticks, but definitely going to California and Stairway to Heaven are on those. So maybe Black Dog. I don't know. Nonetheless, great albums. Went into a little music thing. No, there. we got we Whatever. listen. That's what makes us so appealing, is we can hold conversations in any line of work, music, movies, TV, 
neuroscience, you know. Neuroscience? Yes. I don't even know what that is. You can hold a conversation in it if you wanted to, I'm sure. I definitely could bullshit my way through a neuroscience class. Absolutely. That's what makes us as the Basement Boys so appealing, which go support the Patreon to find out why we're also more appealing. Patreon.com slash Basement Yard. F. Alvarez8085 on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez on Twitch. Instagram. Instagram. Everywhere else. Also Instagram and the other places. And then, <laughs> and then the Basement Yard across all social media platforms. Uh, you can find me at Joe Santagato. Go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time.